Let's say hello to Kayla Harrison. Hello, Kayla. How are you? Uh, A-H and K-H. What's happening? We're just on the same wavelength. Same wavelength. Huh? Yes. You just were like, oh, I should have Kayla on. And I just felt like it had been I a while. I was like, oh, I'd love to <laughs> What's up, Hilwani? I'm a little bit salty, though, because I feel like you should have... I'm back! Jeez Louise, holy shit. Are those 24-inch pythons? What's going on? I, well, you're like Hulk Hogan circa 1986 over there. <laughs> I love it. I just got done training. Oh, wow. It's not Mako Mark, Mondays. What is it? Uh, Webster Wednesdays? What is it? Um, It's Mike Brown Wednesdays. It's brownie. Okay. Brownie. What, uh, which is tougher? Um, I mean, Mako Mondays is historically the hardest workout of the week. Okay. It's Wednesdays is still hard. You know, we still go live. Um, it's a little more cerebral, I'd say. Okay. I like that. When I, when I think of Mike Brown, I do think of cerebral. So that's uh that's a very good. Very. Yeah. That's a very good very. Uh, comparison. By the way, um, congratulations on not only the return fight, which Thank we will you. get to in a moment, but you did a fantastic job on Friday. Game bred bare knuckle MMA in the broadcast booth. Oh yeah. Thank did, you. Did you enjoy it? I was a little, I was a little off. I was a little off, but it's always, it's good room for improvement. You know, keep growing, keep, keep thriving. That's it. I said, yep, a lot. And then mm, a lot. Um, yeah, I have I have room for improvement, but I love doing it. I really enjoy it. George is a good, good friend of mine. And um, it's, you know, I also feel like I learned so much. So it's great. Was that your first time doing something like that? No, I had done George's show before and I had done some like guest commentary with the PFL and I've done a couple like local shows like Titan and stuff like that. So, yeah. You like it? I do actually. I do. I mean, not as much as I like fighting, sure. but if you can't fight, you might as well watch. What do you What do you find harder, calling the action or the post fight interviews? Yeah, definitely post fight interviews. Just because it's like, I mean, I go out there and I'm like, don't fuck up his name, like you know, or like don't ask the same stupid questions that everybody asks. Like, be original, but. I enjoy them more because there's a little more pressure and you, it's also like the opportunity for the fighter to express their emotion and to share their character or personality or whatever it is that they have to say. So I enjoy being able to, to share that with a fighter and give them that moment. Yeah. Uh, well, I thought you guys did a great job. Congratulations. And it's, uh, it's cool to see, uh, Jorge do this, this sort of thing as he transitions know, outside dude, of fighting. So cool. I'm so happy for him. He's I'm yeah, I'm just so happy for him. He's like, He's killing it. I just saw him like New York Fashion Week. I saw him Friday. And then he was just like in yeah. a fashion <laughs> show or something. And then he's like, oh, I gotta go to the and then he's like, okay, I'll call you mommy October 28th. Let me know. And I'm like, okay, all right, Poppy. Like, call me. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, now let's talk about you. Um, November 24th will be 367 days since your last fight. Why have you not fought this year? Oh, Oh, you're such a fucking shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> you are. What? Right. Isn't that isn't that like question number one? What? Where the hell have you been? I. You know what? Um, I have been. I have been waiting. I have been learning how to deal with myself. Um. You know, things didn't go exactly how I planned. Obviously, I lost. And I wanted to get right back then in there. I wanted to like, oh, that's awkward. Who's that? Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. Is it Ali? Do you really want to know? Can you put him on? No. It's, okay. It's my my sister oh. from prison. What? <laughs> You're kidding. Do you need to take that? No. What? No. It's okay. She'll Wait. call back a couple more times. What? Let me see if I can sign up yeah. yeah. Um, Wait, is your sister in prison? Anyway, Why is your sister yeah, in prison? Rehab rehab, rehab. 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 Okay, for sure. She's doing really good. I'm really proud of her. We've actually recently reconnected. Um, 
and she seems to be doing the really hard work. So I'm supporting her and I'm there for her how I can be. And, you know, I love her unconditionally, no matter what, forever. But some some walks you got to take alone. So I'm just praying for her. I wish her the best. Thank you. Um, um, I probably shouldn't have shared online. No, no. I, I feel really a, shitty now. No, we feel we were comfortable. We tell each other things. This is what we do. I know. It's because I'm so comfortable with you that I just like act like I'm talking to a friend and then I forget that there are fucking people listening no, and I just no, aired. Just... Anyways, so I wanted to fight again right away. Like I wanted to be in the season. I wanted to like go. Um, and that didn't happen. You know, God said, wait, uh, I have been doing two days since I was 12 years old. I have had a tournament, uh, world championships and Olympics, uh, this, uh, that, uh, you know, I made my first Olympic trials when I was 14. I moved to Boston when I was 16. I won the Olympics when I was 22. I made my first world team when I was 18. I won the world, the junior worlds when I was 18. I won the senior worlds when I was 20. Like I have been go, 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 go my entire life. And I've never just like sat with myself and um, gotten really still and like, figured out who the fuck I am if I don't like have something to do like am I gonna be can I be okay with myself like what if I broke my neck tomorrow and I can't do this like am I gonna be able to have peace am I gonna be able to be okay as a human being as a mother as a daughter as a sister like I I had to do that I had to sit down and, and get still and be with myself um and man, it, it helped. It helped. So you just said something that was really interesting. You said you wanted to be in the season. So did you ask to go back in the tournament and did they say no? Um, I don't know exactly what happened, where, who said what. I just said, like, I said, let's go, you know, like, so. And then I was told that's not going to happen. And I said, okay. And um, did you ask why? That was when I. Um, I think that I'm, uh, I think that my time in the season is kind of done, I guess. Okay. What was it like for you to watch an entire season play out PFL and PFL and, and, and not be able to partake? Brutal. Did you not watch? That part sucked. I didn't watch. Very much. You're aware of it, right? It's all around you. You live in this world, so it's hard to ignore it. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. yeah, of course. I mean, my teammates fight. My teammates are, you know, like, of course. Um, I This was more just like, I kind of decided to... You can look at the world in one of two ways, right? Like, you can say, oh my God, it's raining. Like, fuck there's going to be traffic on the way to pick up my kids. And then I'm going to, and then like, they're going to be complaining because the internet is down and it's going to be like terrible. Or you can say, Oh my gosh, it's, um, I rain. Like, and now I'm going to listen to some really nice music in the car on the way to pick up the kids. And then maybe we can go find a puddle and play like whatever. I just decided to say like, fuck it. I'm going to take this time and use it to my benefit. And Make no mistake, like I've been in the gym every day. You can call anybody at the gym. You can you can ask anyone. Like for 10 months, Kayla's head has been down and Kayla has been working on her craft and working on her soul. And um I'm back, but different. Same but better. Okay. Um, that is great to hear. One last thing on the layoff. Would it have been easier to go through this 10 month period? coming off a win, did it make it worse because you're sitting on your first pro loss? I think that everything happened exactly how it was supposed to happen. I think that had I come off this on a win, maybe I wouldn't have trained as hard. Maybe I wouldn't have been, you know, I maybe would have been eating more bonbons and, you know, I would have felt like, oh, my life's not in shambles, like I'm good the way I am. And I wouldn't have continued to work on myself or grow or, you know, it's at our, it's at our lowest moments that we are catapulted to. Hmm. Um, and, um, you know, 
a lot of things have changed. You know, I'm cutting down to 145. Um, so it's good that I've been staying hungry, staying disciplined, doing the work. Um, you know, I don't, it's like when you go in, like, I love these fighters, like when they go into camp, like I don't have to do anything except like make the weight. Like I've been getting better every single day. I've been working. I've been very intentional with my training. I've been focusing on certain things. Like there's no like, Oh shit, it's time to cram for the test. Like, no, I'm fucking ready. I'm ready for everyone. All I have to do is lose 10 pounds, like 15, Mm. 15. That's it. It's time. Like, let's go. Okay. So this is fascinating. 145. I believe you've only fought at 145 once before. That was an Invicta, right? Um, this fight against Julian Bud is featherweight. Why at 145? That's the weight class now. Okay. No more Kayla. No more 155. Just making all kinds of changes. Yeah. What do you, but what do you mean? Like you, this is a one-off, right? So did you say, Hey, let's just do 50. Like, what is the point? Unless you wanted 45. Are you, are you trying to tell us something? Are they trying to tell you something? I didn't didn't ask for 45 i didn't ask for 45 but i didn't ask for 55 i asked for a fight okay (laughs) this is what they gave you (laughs) i'm cool with it are you comfortable cutting to 45 yeah we're about to find out is this a pit stop to 35 (laughs) i gotta i gotta fight julia bud on november 24th Black Friday, I gotta um, go out there and and put on a show, and you know we'll see, we'll see what happens. But you're not closing that door. You, would it be fair to say you're you're open to it? You're thinking. I about- don't close any doors anymore. I don't close doors. People can close doors on me, but I'm not going to close any doors. Okay, uh, you're open to it. I'm I'm open to like I'm not. Yeah, I mean, I'm just like. I'm just putting one foot in front of the other and I'm going to see where I end up. Was there a chance that you wouldn't be on this card or did they have to give you one fight this season? I am not going to talk about contract stuff. Okay, fair enough. Um, How did you feel when you got this opportunity and how long have you known about this? Um, It hasn't been very long. Just, uh, I would say like a couple weeks maybe, but I was, oh my God. I mean, I'm annoying enough as it is at the gym. Like I'm always like wooing and like, let's go. Last one's the best one. Like, um, I'm that guy at the gym, but I walked in like <laughs> the, the, the day that Ali called me and told me I had a fight and I like, I like basically like ripped my shirt open and I was like, I'm back. Let's fucking go. And like, I made everyone, st- I was like, everybody stop. I have an announcement. Like, you know, like just world champions training. And I'm like, shut the fuck yeah. up. I have something to say. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like that's it you got to fight wow congrats um so you were obviously yeah, they're like, they're like <laughs> did you like the opponent Great. yeah i mean i don't care whatever okay like i didn't she's know- respectable yeah no i mean she's a name she she's fought in bellator she's had a nice run um i just didn't know if you had a a, a perfect scenario like I, I would imagine maybe the perfect scenario would be larissa but she's involved in the tournament, right? Yeah. 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 I'm not, I'm no longer in the business of like trying to control things that are out of my control. Like I could say, I'd love to fight King Kong, but that's not in my control. I can say, I'd love to fight Amanda. I can say, I'd love to fight Cyborg. I can say, I'd love to fight Larissa, but like these things are not in my control. So I'm not going to like, I'm just going to show up and do what I do. And, and the rest will work itself out. Like that's it. Do you feel like you have a point to prove on November 24th? Mm, I feel like, I just feel a lot of gratitude. You know, I just feel like, I wasn't sure if I was going to get to fight this year or not fight this year you know, retire. Like I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure what the hell was going to happen. And so I'm very grateful that I get the opportunity to do what I love in front of the world and and put it all on the line. Like that's to me, this is, you know, this is my greatest gift. Like, you know, the, this is what I was put on this earth to do, like to be a warrior, to fucking go out 
there and and shine. And so I'm just like, I'm just grateful. I'm so excited. I just, I'm happy. How, how seriously did you consider retirement? I mean, I didn't want to retire, but some of my, you know, advisors were like, well, if you don't fight, like, it's just time to wrap, you know, you're 33. To, and I just said, no, I'm, I said, no, I'm not done. I'm not done. I thought about it for a little bit, like, and their, from their perspective and in their defense, you know, it's really like you have nothing to prove. You've done enough. Like you can rest now, Kayla. Like you don't, you know, how much money do you need? How much, you know, like you don't need to do anything else. You're fine. But that's just not who I am. And that's not what I want. And it's my life. And I don't want to be done. Like, I love what I do. I have a, a zest, a, a passion, a burning desire within me to, you know, I, I climbed those mountains in judo and I want to climb these mountains in MMA. Like I didn't get in the sport to half-ass it and to like, I don't like, I didn't even get in it to make money. Like, obviously that happened and I'm super grateful for it, but I, I came in here cause I want to fucking, I want to put my, push myself to my absolute limits every single day. Will this be your final PFL fight? I don't know. Is there a chance? There's a chance that, you know, a meteor strikes. Oh, come on. What are you talking about, a meteor strike? It's, it's, it's kind of a yes or no. I mean, like, is it the last one? Is it not the last one? I don't know. I don't know. You know, like, obviously, I love the PFL. I'm very grateful for everything that... I feel like we built together, you know, like this is, um, this is a responsibility and a job that I don't take lightly. Like I'm their only homegrown as of right now, big, big, not big, big. I can't, that sounds so cocky, but like name. Yeah. 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 And for a long time, you know, you look at a lot of fighters who they've brought over or who've had success, but then lost. And like to carry that banner for 15 fights and remain pretty much untouched was not an easy thing to do. And I did it really well. And I did it with class and I did it my way and I made them look really good. And I'm proud of that. And I'm proud of what we've built. I'm proud of like ESPN. I mean, like, I'm just proud of everything that that's, that's happened and the PFL starting this whole women's promotion and like pushing female fighting forward and giving fighters an opportunity to create their own destiny. Like to me, that is what sport is about. You know, I know that this is an entertainment as well. And that's the part that I struggle with, but to go out, to perform your very best and to be rewarded for it is, is what I grew up with. So for me, that was the best, that is the, the best way to, to have fights. And I, I've loved every minute of it. I'm grateful for every single minute of it. And that includes the loss. That includes the, you know, drama. That includes the chaos. Like I'm grateful for every single minute that I've had with this, with this promotion and, and on this journey in this sport, like it's the best dude. How many people do you know, like get to do what they love every single day. And like, I mean, yeah, man, I just like, I hit the lottery. Uh, barring anything crazy happening in the next month or so, it sounds like PFL is going to purchase Bellator. Does that reality mm -hmm. interest you being a part of this new, you know, number two, if you like a true blue number two, they're coming together um, going into next year. And who knows even where PFL is going to be, their TV deals up. I mean, there's a lot that can happen between now and next year. Does this interest you? Or you've been open about fighting the best. You know, there was some flirtation, if you will, with the UFC. Uh, do you feel like it's time, regardless of a merger, to explore that if you can? Yeah, I think that those are both possibilities in the future. You know, I think that um, I haven't been paying super close attention to the news with PFL and Bellator, and I haven't been asking. Um, I'm keeping my... Um, 
you know, I'm just keeping my head down and doing my job and trusting that it'll all work out the way it's supposed to work out. You know, like this is the part where, again, like I'm not gonna, what, what, what the hell is the point, Ariel, of me sitting here thinking like, well, are they going to buy him or aren't they going to buy him? Am I going to fight her? Am I not? Am I going to go here? Am I going to go? Like, it's just such a waste of time. And I'm not, I'm just not interested anymore. Like I'm, it, it's going to be what it's going to be. And I'm going to be ready for whatever that is. I get it. And I appreciate that. And I'm going to ask you a question now, not about you, but I'm just curious about your take. What, what did you think? How do you feel about Amanda Nunes retiring? Oh yeah, I was bummed. I mean, I'm happy for her, but like selfishly, yeah. I was, you know, <laughs> like my timing in MMA is, not the best. <laughs> no, it's fine. I mean, there always has to be someone. You are that person. Uh, there's always going to be a new guard. Um, do you think no, she comes for back? Sure, for sure. Do you think she's come back or do you think she's actually really done? I mean, she could. There's well, nothing stopping her. Yeah, no. I, but what do you think? Because, you know, everyone, I mean, it's very common to retire in MMA and, and or combat sports and come back, right? So. No, I think that she'll only come back if it really, really interests her. She doesn't need the money. Her and Nina are smart, you know. And, and like, it, only if she has the desire to, will she? But she doesn't, she's not going to ever be like, I got to fight, you know. I think, I don't, I don't see it happening, especially now that they have another baby on the way. Like, right. whew, two babies changes the game. Can I offer you some advice? I know you probably thought of this already because you're actually a closet pro wrestling fan and you and you love the entertainment side of things, even though you claim to not. Uh, it's always those that claim they don't actually love it. Um, is this a work? Is that what we call no, this? No, no, this is a shoot right here, brother. This is a shoot, all right? Shoot. shoot. Yes. All right, brother. October 7th, you need to go to San Diego, tell Lambert to fire up the jet, sit in the front row with a PFL t-shirt on, watch mm -hmm. Chris Cyborg, Kat Zingano, and then the winner of that mm -hmm. fight, you walk into the cage, you get on the microphone and say, hey, I have some business to take care of on November 24th. I'll see your bum asses uh -huh. next year when we go after uh -huh. the UFC. We're going to determine who's the uh -huh. best in the world at 145. Uh -huh. And then we're coming uh -huh. for all your 135 pound let's, asses. All right. Go, Ariel. All right. Let's go. All right. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, I don't even like the only reason I'm going to let Dan manage me is because he's got a jet. Do you have a jet yet? I've got nothing. I have absolutely that room that he has in his house with the belts is bigger than my entire house. So, like, I've got a lot of work to do. <laughs> I've got some work to do. Well, I'm let's just, go. Get yeah, on it, kid. Because that was that was funny. Are you going to be upset if I steal that line for line, word for word, like shtick for shtick? Will you be offended or will you be honored? Nothing would make me happier or prouder. Some of the greatest promos in the history of the sport have come from this brain. People just don't know it yet. I'm going to tell everyone when I, I write my oh, title. I know it, Ariel. Highway to Hiawani is coming out in probably 2035 or so. And I, I will expose all of this shit. But for you, I like to tell the world, you know, what you need to do because you're sometimes a little bit I can't reluctant. Wait to read that book. It's going to be great, right? Oh you better make sure you're like close to your deathbed before you hear that. Why? Like, Why? I have a lot of nice things to say about a lot of great people. You got, you got a lot of enemies and you got a lot of frenemies too. <laughs> and, and, and dare I say friends as well? Would you not say? I mean, such as yourself. Oh, absolutely. You are beloved amongst See? the people. Chapter 14. Dominance MMA. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Kayla. Why do you have to say that? Why do you have to say that? <laughs> Why? You just can't help yourself. Can you? you really can't. You can't help oh, it. It's like God. every time we almost do like a whole interview, and I'm like, oh shit, we're gonna make it. We're gonna, we're gonna make, make it. it this time. We're gonna do it. You can't help it. I'm so happy you're back, though. I mean, there's just this is pay per view, right? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, I think. it is. Yes. And let's be honest. If it's pay-per-view, then that should be a lot of elbows. Oh, yeah. Hell We're yeah. We're going to talk to somebody. About and it's a one-off. It's not like it's a part of a tournament. Who cares if someone gets cut? Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, right? Like, we fighting for a million dollars? Well, anyways. Oh, what a flex. <laughs> oh, that was a flex right there. That was tremendous. No wonder they don't have you in the tournament. That is incredible. I got to go. Uh, I got to go. Okay, I'm right. getting in trouble. Okay, okay, okay. shit to my friend. 
not really my friend and we're alive and then i'm gonna be like getting all these phone no, calls. no 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 this is great back, you're back you're back she's freaking back the queen is back november 24th washington dc pay-per-view let's go the 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 redemption tour the comeback is going to be greater than the setback as they say y'all must have forgot who the two time Olympic gold medalist ah, is all right and we're about go. to freak it and yeah. you know what you know I'm Canadian can Kayla you, you do the, can you introduce me in the cage Ariel like Tell I them. just feel like that would Tell be like, uh, can I walk you out can right. I walk you out you want can to can you imagine I walk out with holding the two gold medals you know like in boxing when they all, I'd be like this is the real yeah like how they make it like yes, a thing yes yeah. Ask PFL, I'll be there. I'll definitely give you the gold medal because I don't think those flimsy arms could hold the two belts. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. I've been working out, Kayla. I've been working out. You're going to do some Hiwani boxing? Yes. You're going to show us what's up? <laughs> uh, welcome back. So great to All have right. you back. Have a great Thank day. You. Okay, take care. Love you. Bye-bye. You there soon. she is, Kayla Harrison. Bye -bye. There she is. Bye-bye. Uh, the great Kayla Harrison is back. What a time. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it very much. Hey, if you like this video... Give us the old thumbs up. Subscribe as well. You can get many more of these videos on the channel. So please do that. We would love you forever if you did so.